All right, hey, wanted to make a video here on using um, the string tokenizer in C. Um, so what is string tokenizing? It means we have a line of um, information in a file and um, it consists of multiple fields separated by some sort of separator, a space, comma, a pipe, something like that. And from a C program, we want to read in that line and then break it into these individual fields. So for example, I have a movie database and each line contains five fields separated by pipe. So for example, there's a name, a release date, the amount of revenue, um, how long the movie is, and then a short synopsis tagline of the movie. And this is all sitting in a file. We know how to open a file and read it in using fgets. Um, but when we read it, we're going to have one character array containing all five pieces of information. And we'd like to break it into five individual pieces. And then in a future video, we're going to take that and we're going to throw it into a structure and start, you know, manipulating it. So being able to break this line into individual fields, which we call tokenizing, is going to be a useful skill. And in C, there's a function for doing that. It's called string toke, S-T-R-T-O-K. It comes from string.h. Um, and it basically takes um, two arguments in its simplest form. It takes the string we're trying to break up into fields and the delimiter. So, um, and we can have multiple delimiters. I'm just going to work with a single delimiter, but the delimiter is a string also, so it's going to go inside double quotes. So let's write um, some sample code. So we'll include standard io.h so we can print. We'll include string so that we can tokenize. And we'll just make a main program. I'll make a big character array. I'll call it buffer 1024. I'm also going to need a car pointer, and I'll tell you what this is for in a minute, but I'm going to have word, which is just pointing to a character. And then I'm going to make a main loop. So let's read from standard in one line at a time. Now I can open up a file and read from a file, but I'm just going to read from standard in so that we can we can put in input and see exactly what what's going in. So I'll do my usual um, loop while null is not equal to f gets. Name of the buffer, length, and the stream we're reading from. Alright, so we know that if I if I were to print the value of buffer, I would see a copy of the input with a new line tacked on the end, right? So what I want to do is break it into fields, and I'm going to do fields separated by a pipe. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say word equals string token um, buffer comma quote pipe. And let's see exactly what word is. And that's going to be my whole my whole program for now. We're just going to use this tokenizer once and just grab the first token. So what should happen is if we have a number of fields with pipes in between them, when I call string token like this, word should be a pointer to just that first word on that line. And when I print this out, I should see everything going up to the first pipe. So let's, let's try this. So we'll compile it and then we'll run it. And we'll put in three fields separated by pipes, and it tells me word equals hello. And it doesn't matter how many fields I have on here. Word will be the first field going up to, but not including the first pipe. And if I don't have a pipe at all, then the first field is the entire string, and so it will show me word equals the entire input line, including that new line at the end, which we'll get rid of in a minute just for clarity. So I'll hit a control D to get out of this. So that's that's the first way we use string token to get the first token. What we really want to do though is we want to read all of the fields so that if we have you know hello cool by three words we also want to somehow get a hold of this word and get a hold of that word. And the way this works with string token is normally when you call this you pass it the name of a string and it gives you a pointer to the first token. But I can also call this as follows with a first argument that's null 
And if I do that, it's not going to look in null for a pipe. It's going to look in the same string that I originally called it with, starting after the pipe that it just found. So if I call string token like this, and then I print out the word that came back, here's what's going to happen. Hello, cool, bye. The second time I called string token, it returned a pointer to a word containing just this second field. And if I do this again, then the third time I called string token, it brought back a pointer to the third field, which was BYE followed by a new line. So every time I call string token with a null, it will return a pointer to the next word on the field. So I can pick off my fields one at a time by just repeatedly calling string token like this. Now, how do you know when you're done? Well, if I only have two fields and I try to extract a third field, it'll return a pointer to null. And that's how I know that I've run out of fields. So in this case, the first field was hello, the second field was by, the third field came back null. That's what tells me, hey, there was no third field. So I can use that to make a loop. So I'll start off with um, calling the string tokenizer once, and then I'll say while word is not null. Let's print out the next word equals, and we'll print out the value of word. And then I'll call string tokenizer again. And I'll just say that's all for that line. All right, so what's going to happen here? We're going to read in a line from standard in. We'll grab the first token, and assuming that's not null, we'll print it out. And then we'll say, give me another token. And if that's not null, we'll print it out. Get another token. If that's not null, we'll print it out. Get another token. If that's null, we'll kick out of this while loop. We'll say that's all for the line. And then we'll go on to the next line of input. So this should be a nice full-blown string tokenizer. So we'll say hello, cool, bye. And it found three words, hello, cool, bye. If I only have one line, it'll just find that one line. If I have five fields, it'll find those five fields and so on. So um, just to wrap this up, if I wanted to do this for my movie database, we've got a title, release date, revenue, runtime, and tagline. So let's let's put this in a loop. Let's put a record number equals zero. We'll increment the record number when we get inside here. Um, and let's do something like this. Um, word equals string token. All right, so we'll grab the first token, we'll print out a record number, and we'll print out the title. call string token with null and we'll print out release date so we'll print out the release date and we don't need to be too fancy with this. So the third field is the revenue. And then runtime. And then a synopsis. 
So if we do this, and then we do run less than movie database and pipe the output into more, um, we can see, so our first record is bogus because it's the header, but you know, we can see record two is Toy Story, release date, uh, revenue, runtime, and synopsis. Um, and Jumanji, uh, revenue, runtime of 104, roll the dice and unleash the excitement. So let me just make one more embellishment to this. Let me restore my angle bracket there. Um, when we call f gets, our buffer always has a new line at the end. So we're just going to clean that up and we're going to say buffer negative one plus length of buffer. And we're going to put the null terminator. So we're going to put a null terminator in place of that new line. And so we're basically just chopping off the last character from the input buffer. And so now we, we have our synopsis without an extra new line at the end. And so, so there we go, we've got a record parser. Um, So we can do one extra f gets in the beginning to get rid of the header. And let's just put an extra new line at the end here. And so now we go, um, we've got a nice uh, record one, record two, record three with the title, release date, uh, revenue, runtime, and um, synopsis. So that's, that's just playing with, um, with tokenizing a string. Um, so string toke, really, really useful function. Um, pass it a character array and a delimiter and it'll return the first field. And then immediately call string toke with a null as an argument and it will continue parsing that string looking for the second field. And the next time you call string toke with a null, it'll look for the third field and it'll keep doing that when it returns, um, when it returns null, you know that it's out of fields. And so we could do that, you know, to do something appropriate if we're missing a synopsis and so on and so forth. Anyway, that's um, the string token function, and we'll use that in our next video to um, read in movie data and store it in a structure. So um, we'll go on to that in a little bit.